Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just really feel like getting creative and I kind of wanna do a Grinch inspired look. I'm not gonna do a full like green face or anything like that, but I want to kind of go green and festive and Grinchy, glammy looking. I want some glitter. I'm not really sure. I have already prepped my eyelids with the shape tape and done my eyebrows with the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. And I actually have this green mascara. And the first thing I want to try to do is put some of this in my eyebrows and see what that looks like. Ooh. All right, well that turned my eyebrows pretty green. I'm going to probably add some eyeshadow in there and then add some more of this in, but I just wanted to see what that would look like. I'm going to start with the green in this NYX palette and I'm going to take kind of a, not a big blending brush, but a decent size one because I really wanna smoke this all out in my crease. You guys, I hope this comes out okay because what I have envisioned in my mind, I don't know if I'm actually capable of doing, but I am just taking the screen and I'm really gonna pull this out too. And I think I'm just gonna take this all over my eye for now and I'm gonna bring this up super high also. I'm just feeling like I wanna do some art today and I love to draw and I love to paint but I love to make videos even more so I figured I would just combine the two things and do some art on my face. So this might be kind of a long video. I haven't decided if I'm going to include all of my like face makeup and stuff just because the eye look might take so long and I'm actually just taking this and patting it on because I feel like that gives a lot more color and I'll go in and blend it out after. But I just want everything to be completely covered in green on my eye. And I'm bringing this out pretty far. I just want all this green as my base. And then I'm going to kind of figure out where I'm going to go from there. So I'm just going to do the same thing on my other eye. And then we will move on. Now what I'm going to do is take this lighter green on the same brush. And put that right above this other green to blend these edges out a little more. And I'm just gonna blend this right into where my eyebrow is. I'm not really leaving any space. Now I need to find a darker green. All right, so in the subculture palette, there's this shade called Untamed. And it's kind of a dark green color, not quite as bright as this. And I'm taking a smaller Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to put this into my crease very lightly. I don't want anything else to become overpowered. I just want some depth to my eye. And I think I'm going to kind of use this to create a faux wing out on the edge of my eye. So I'm just going to take some of this out on the corner and blend it into the outside. I am going to like clean this up and make this part more sharp, but for now I'm just going to get a little messy. And in this palette, you just need to be very, very light handed when you dip in because there is a lot of pigment that comes from these shadows. Doing that on my other eye as well. Now I'm going to grab, whoops wrong palette. I'm going to grab some more of the green that we started with and just take this over top and make sure these edges are really blended. Now what I'm going to do is take that green too and pat that into my eyebrows and I'm going to take a little bit of that lighter green just to put right in the front of my eyebrows and kind of connect it all up. And same right here, just taking that light green and connecting everything together. Just so I can see how this is really looking, I'm going to grab a makeup wipe and clean up everything underneath and also get these edges straight out so I know where I need to draw my wing because we all know I'm terrible at wing liner. And I am leaving it a little bit further down because I am going to do this under my eye as well. I think that's looking pretty good so far. I am noticing that this eye has a little bit more dark green than this one does. So I am just going to add a little bit more over here. Just a tiny bit. 
Ugh, these shadows are so pigmented. It's hard to only get a tiny bit. <laughs> All right, for now, the top part of the eyes looks pretty good. I'm going to, what do I want to use? Let's just swatch Electric in the Subculture palette and see what this looks like. This might be fun. Ooh, I like, I like that. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Electric on my finger and I'm just going to pat this onto my lid. It's okay if it goes up a little bit. We like sparkle. I kind of just want to lightly tap this over. It's giving everything a little bit of a shimmer, but I did most of it on my actual lid. I kind of like that actually. Everything is glitter. I haven't even dipped my fingers back in. Like this is just from one dip into that eyeshadow. I am gonna build it up on my eyelids a little bit. That looks really cool. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this mascara into my eyebrows. Probably add more glitter, but I kinda wanna get these like stuck up a little bit. Oh, I don't have many eyebrows, but I'll do what I can. I will probably have to go back and fix this once I have foundation on, but trying to get this look in my head is difficult without actually doing, you know, what I want to do. I am going to now start to work on my eyeliner. I think we're going to do a pretty big, dramatic wing with this one, but we'll start small and work our way up here. I wish I had a green eyeliner to use because that would be fun. And I'm just following the line of the eyeshadow and then connecting it to my eye. That one's not looking too bad, actually. Apparently, because I did this so big, I'm just going to bring this black under, right under my eye, too, to about there. Maybe a little bit further, like where my lashes end. This will all have to be touched up once I have the foundation on anyway. It looks pretty even. Like I said, the underneath is gonna have to all be touched up anyway. And all this is gonna be smoked out with green under here. So I do wanna leave that green that's under the eyeliner too. But I think this is a pretty good start. So I'm gonna get started on my face. So I am going to prime my face using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And you guys, don't forget, mistakes can always be gone over so I don't want you to worry about if you mess you think you messed something up because you can take a little bit off and just start you don't need to give up and restart and today I'm going to use the LA girl pro coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation and I'm probably gonna blend this in with a little bit of a small brush today instead of a sponge just because I need to be a little bit more precise around my eyes. This is probably going to take a little bit longer, so I won't show you the whole process. I'll probably have to go back and like buff this in with something else, but this is going to help me be a little bit more precise with my placement of the foundation. I wonder if not many people have done Grinch type looks because of the amazing one that Nikki Tutorials did that no one could ever beat. <laughs> and I won't even try. This is completely different anyway. I'm not doing my full face green. Now I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of pat in all the areas that I can. And for concealer, I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna use my Shape Tape and also the LA Girl Concealer. I'm not using too much Shape Tape. Now this one, I'm just going to kind of blend into the shape tape because I feel like this has more of like a peachy undertone and it covers my dark circles a little bit better. But I do like like the coverage of the shape tape. Oops, I didn't put any on my forehead. I am using the sponge probably to blend out. Oh no, see? Go slow. It's so hard for me to talk when I'm doing things like this because I get so like hyper focused on it that I forget that I'm even recording. Oh gross, my nose is running. <laughs> I feel like I look really weird right now, but hopefully this is all gonna come together nicely. Um, I am gonna do a little bit of cream contouring using the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. I'm really just winging it, you guys. I didn't practice this look or anything. I'm just going for it. So hopefully it turns out how I'm envisioning it. Be careful blending anything out near your eyes. 
I just have like a million possibilities running through my head right now and I'm trying to decide what to do. <laughs> That's why I'm being so quiet right now. Also, I'm babysitting in like an hour, so I need to hurry up and get this done. And then take it off so I don't scare the crap out of her. She's just a baby. All right, and that's blended out, so I'm going to use my air spun powder and set my entire face with this. I know this part is probably going to be pretty, like, sped through um, for what you're seeing, just because I want to focus more on the actual Grinch look and not so much on my face process, because you've seen that a million times. All right, so what I'm going to do real quick, just to save some time, I'm going to bronze, contour, blush, highlight, all that stuff, and then I'll be back to finish the rest of the look. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I went overboard with blush on purpose and highlighter. I just went very, very extreme with everything. And let me fix my hair. And let's just start with the lower lash line. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a white eyeliner and line my actual waterline. So I used my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, my O for highlighter, and also a highlighter from the It Cosmetics book, and I used my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm going to start with a little tiny brush with the green from the Subculture Palette, and I'm going to smoke that along my lower lash line until right about where my lashes end. And that might actually just take that liner away, which would be fine. And I'm kind of connecting it right to the liner in the corner. What I'm going to do before I do anything else is just pack some of my airspun powder under my eyes to catch any fallout that comes off of the shadow. And then I'll just brush this away after. Alright, and now I'm taking the Morphe M506 brush into the NYX green that we started with this one and I'm just going to bring that along the bottom as well and then I'm going to take the lightest green in the next palette and blend out all of these edges because I do want it to look more smoky than like super precise and I'm also doing that to these edges as well now I'm gonna go back with this green mascara and so I'm just gonna pull this out and kind of create some green lines on my face from the mascara oh and this mascara by the way is hard candy oops I originally had bought it for st. Patrick's Day so it's a little old I've got some pretty big eyebrows now. So next I want to, I'm so afraid I'm going to mess this up, but I'm going to take a little bit of these greens mixed together and just bring this down my nose a little bit. This is not the brush that I meant to use. Oop. Okay. And I'm kind of going to use this green to do my normal contouring, but then it will be green, obviously. And because I'm so good at contouring my nose, I think this will come out great. I want to see other people's makeup resolutions. Nobody is doing my tag, and I want to see it. I want to know what other people want to work on. Not everybody needs to act like, you know, they're so perfect all the time. Like, why not just admit you have things that you need to work on, things that maybe you don't perfect because I feel like there's always room to learn and to grow. Now I'm just using the lightest green to kind of blend it all out. Darker one is gonna be more in the shadowed areas. I'm not the best at explaining things yet, so I'm sorry. I'm so nervous, you guys. I don't wanna mess everything up. But there needs to be like a little bit of, you know, herbs right here. I'm going to use my white eyeliner just to kind of map out where I want these lines to be because I don't want to mess this up and then have to redo my whole face. So you probably can't even see the white liner on camera, but I'm just mapping out where I want like 
my grumpy lines to be. I need the dark shade first. So actually, I'm gonna use the NYX one first, the darker green in the NYX, and then I'll go in with the subculture shade and make it darker. I'm too nervous to just go right in with the dark one. And then we're gonna do just a couple little lines on the nose, I think. I just like, I wet this brush a little bit just to give it a more fine tip because I really don't want this shadow going everywhere. I don't even know how to hold my hand right now. No turning back now, huh? And I kind of want this a little thicker right by the brow and have it just coming right up from the brow area. Kind of easier when you can like crunch your eyes <laughs> and know where lines are supposed to go. Yeah, I think that's all I want to do. Let me just make these a little bit darker. I do still want to do a fun bright red lip with this. I feel like you can't really tell it's the grin. So now I'm gonna grab um, this little brush here and the darker green in the NYX palette. And I'm just gonna start to blend this side of this with that green. Just wanna make them look more shadowed. That's basically what I'm doing. This side is the sharp edge of the wrinkle, which I will also make more defined, I think. I'm not positive yet. I'm kind of just pulling it in the direction that I want it to go. And obviously on the other side, it goes like the opposite direction. This is weird for me to figure out. Like I don't do things like this very often. But I really, really just wanted to have fun today. Step out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'm ready to hop right back into it, but I'm actually having a lot of fun. So what I wanna do is kind of <laughs> take a tiny bit of, I'm nervous, of these greens and just where I contoured my face, I kind of wanna just add that. So add a little bit up here because I just want to have a little bit more green shadow just because I feel like it looks a little weird with just everything right here. Green contour. Never done that before. I'm literally just coming up with this as I go and I'm kind of just winging it. If you guys think that I should have done things differently or I don't know, if you have your own ideas, do it because I would love to see what everyone comes up with. Okay, the green on the cheeks just looks a little bit muddy, but I'm gonna bring it up a little higher. Why won't these clips stay in my hair? I'm not understanding, and it's giving me like funky little waves in the front. I was actually not expecting to add the smudge. I was just gonna only do eyeshadow, and now I'm kinda just going with it. Yes. I feel like I just needed some green shadows on my face to pull this all together. Pull this all together I'm down here and I'm also even gonna do like I said my normal places because I want this all to look grinchy I wish I had like a green highlighter or something that would be fun still not looking very grinch like but that's okay so I think I know what this is missing but I'm very very afraid to do it because I think I need to like bring this contour around here but I'm a little bit scared, so I'm just going to go really slow. I feel like I don't look like the Grinch, but this is just a Grinch-inspired look, so I mean, I don't need to look exactly like him. I don't really like that as much. Um, wait, first before I do anything, because I just remembered I forgot, I'm taking this lighter green and just blending this out even more. I just want to make sure these don't look weird. Obviously, I already look weird, but... Maybe once I put lipstick on, this will look better. I'm gonna use this Essence Lip Liner to line my lips, and then, whoops, this Tarte Lip Paint in Extra, and I'm gonna kind of overline and make big dramatic lips. All right, well, let's go in with the lipstick. Ooh, I love it. I feel like I need to add glitter to these lips, but I don't have any. You know what I have? I have these color effects drops and I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my hand and put this oh wait you know what 
I have bake on my face still. Let's dust this off. Hello. And that looks very bright now because I left it on for so long. But I want to try to take just the tiniest bit of this onto my lips. Lips are sparkly. We're getting somewhere. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of this down my nose too, I think. This is Ooh, I like that. Um, and I'm going to take a little bit of this on a brush and add it to my inner corner. And I'm making the inner corner obviously a little bit dramatic. I feel like we can't not make it dramatic, so I might even add a tiny bit of this right to the outer part of my brow bone. Something about up here doesn't seem right to me. All my highlighter's gone. <laughs> That's not okay. I'm just going to grab my Ofra highlighter again. Pack it on there. Alright, I still am feeling like it needs a little bit more. I'm still using the NYX green eyeshadows, mixing them together, and I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more. I'm like the shiniest Grinch you ever did see, that's for sure. I feel like I just need to bring this up a little bit more. There we go. That looks a little more natural. <laughs> I look so natural today. It's crazy. I'm also connecting these lines a little bit more to the eyebrows. I'm, I know that this is probably the longest video ever. I'm just trying to do this as I go because I didn't really have a plan. I didn't plan on having this much green on my face, that's for sure, but it happened. So now we're going with it. I think I need a little bit of the subculture green just for right here. So I'm going to use the other side of this brush and the NYX green now and just fluff this out a little bit. I'm winging it guys, how am I doing? I'm just pulling some of the one in the NYX palette out here as well. I'm taking a little more of the lighter one just to really blend out this bottom here. I am going to grab my beauty blender and just try to go over this part because I don't really like that. The lightest one first because I know that this needs to come down and connect to make me look more grinchy, but I'm afraid. So we're going to go slow. Uh, remember when I said I'm not going to make my whole face green and now I'm turning into this? This is the darker shade in the next palette. It looks darker in person. But clearly my whole face is just going to be green. It's fine. I'm just having too much fun to stop now. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be really fun to wash off. I can't wait for that. I look like a monster. I don't look like a Grinch. I wonder if Zachary will know what I am if I call him in here. Will he know? Nobody knows. I feel like the lighting looks really weird on camera and it's making everything look patchy, but it doesn't actually look like that in person. I should have put this NYX eyeshadow palette on my project pan because I'm going to use it. So last thing is just going back over with this great mascara. Oh, I have to do my regular mascara. Duh. And touch up my lips too. I'm not even being careful with this because of all the stuff we have up here already. That looks better. The only thing that I want to do before I do my mascara is grab the dark green in the ABH palette and put that right under my eyebrows to define them a little bit. So I know that this is nowhere near being like a perfect look, but I really just wanted to have fun and didn't really matter to me how it came out and I know that the face looks a little weird. I need to work on figuring out where to place things on my face because it does look a little off. I just, I can't figure out what the hell else I need. So I am just going to curl my lashes. First I'm going to use the Rolly Lash Mascara and then I'm going to use the Man Eater Mascara and you guys don't even need to see this because it's just mascara application and it's just going to waste time. Don't you hate when there's eyeliner in your eyelashes? Hi, buddy. I'm so thirsty. You are? Did you drink all the juice I gave you? No. Oh. No. Oh. I'm gonna drink, okay? Okay. 
Wait, hang on. I want you to tell me who I look like. Do I look like the grid? <laughs> Yeah. It's like the green screen. Mm-hmm. It's like the other green screen. It's like the real green screen. Oh, big! I'm going to go back over my lips just because I feel like they're not bright enough. And I tried to get my mascara as dramatic as possible. I don't own any false lashes, so I can't even attempt to do that, so... I just keep thinking about Nikki Tutorial's one and how amazing that was, but I'm sure she had a lot more time to spend than I do. If I took all day to do this, I could I could do something cool. Alright, my lips are extremely overlined just because I wanted them to be dramatic. And then I'm going to grab my highlighter and just do my Cupid's bow again. I just feel like this all looks a little weird. Like it looks weirder on camera than it does in person. I don't know why. Alright guys. What do you think? This is my Grinch inspired. I will say inspired because I know I don't look like the Grinch. I just feel like I look really weird just because I'm supposed to look really weird. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're here. You want to see all my cool fun looks. Don't forget then. And I will see you next time.